Welcome to the AI Revolution Podcast, the show where we track the technology changing our world in, well, real time. You can find all our episodes on our YouTube channel of the same name. I'm Alex. And I'm Maya. Today we're discussing a tool that is forcing a question we, we really weren't ready for. Can we ever truly trust our eyes again? You're talking about Sora, right? From OpenAI? I've seen the videos all over my feed. I mean, some are hilarious, like the one with a raccoon on an airplane or a, a dog at a bouldering gym. Right. The quality is just stunning. It is stunning, and that's precisely the problem. A recent and pretty alarming New York Times article frames this not as a fun new toy, mm. but as a major turning point. It suggests that Sora could represent the, quote, end of visual fact. The end of visual fact. Let's unpack that. For decades, the standard of proof was a photograph. Then Photoshop became a verb, and we all learned to be skeptical of images. But video? Yeah. Video was still the gold standard. It was just too difficult to fake convincingly. Exactly. It was our last bastion of objective proof. But that's over. Now, all you need is a text prompt. Wow. The NYT author Brian Chen ran some experiments that were, frankly, chilling. He asked Sora to generate a dash cam video of a Toyota Prius being hit by a large truck. And it just did it? It did. And then he was able to go in and change the license plate number. Whoa. The implications for insurance fraud, for legal evidence, are just staggering. And it doesn't stop there. Right. The article mentioned he also created a fake news broadcast defaming someone he knew. And another video, it was citing completely non-existent studies about fried chicken being healthy. Unbelievable. The potential to smear a reputation or, you know, spread dangerous disinformation is enormous. And this isn't some complex tool locked away in a lab. It's a free app. While it's invite-only for now, access codes are spreading like wildfire on Reddit and Discord. Yeah. The barrier to entry is almost zero. So what about safeguards? I read that OpenAI has policies against generating, like, violence. Right. And that the videos have a watermark. They do, but the article points out users are already figuring out how to simply crop the watermark out. It's a classic mouse and cat and mouse game. And right now, the mouse is winning. Hmm. One expert, Professor Hani Farid, had a chilling observation. He said, any advice we give today on how to spot fakes, looking for weird hands, bad lip syncing, is, quote, destined to be short-lived. Because the technology's improving too quickly. The flaws we see today will be gone tomorrow. His conclusion was incredibly bleak, wasn't it? It was. Essentially saying the only sure way to avoid fake videos is to get off social media entirely, calling platforms like TikTok a complete dumpster. It's a powerful statement. It signals that we're at an inflection point. We have to fundamentally retrain our brains. Another expert put it perfectly. Our brains are powerfully wired to believe what we see. Okay. But we can and must learn to pause. We have to treat every video with skepticism. From creative fun and Hollywood copyright battles to the very foundation of truth online, this isn't a what-if scenario anymore. Right. This is the very definition of the AI revolution we cover on this show. Thanks for tuning in to the AI Revolution podcast. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay on top of these world-changing developments. Now, here's a question we'd like you to think about. Now that seeing is no longer believing, how do you plan to change the way you watch, share, and trust video content online?